to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Oh, the timer's going, dude. 10 I already minutes started. or less. So, uh, you want to talk? What did you want to talk? Granola bars? <laughs> what? Dude, did I want to talk yeah, about granola bars? Yeah, you said you want bars? to talk about granola bars. Like, I've been staying awake at night thinking about, I can't wait to have this granola bar discussion with Jonas. Champing at the bit to champ on some, chomp so, on some granola bars. So, uh, recently... I've been trying to, you know, eat a little bit healthier. So you keep healthier snacks in the house. Yeah, dude. You don't have the Doritos or the Cheez-Its. You have the yeah, Harvest. Yeah. So I'm looking at, you know, I go in the grocery store. I'm looking at the Cliff Bars. They're a little bit, they're a little bit chunky. But. But they have the illusion of being healthy. Well, they actually, dude. I, I Speaking of Cliff Bars, mm. I started buying Cliff Bars a while back because I've realized that the Cliff Bar is the perfect amount of food that if you're traveling and you get hunger, you eat it and it's like an hour to two hours like solid of like or more. It's just enough and heavy enough that it like it takes that edge off of like being hungry if you don't want to eat on the road. Yeah. And it, it, but it is like 250 calories or something like that. And I guess I feel that, but I I just want to eat them all. Like I can't keep that many Cliff Bars in the house, man. They they I don't know something about them is like they're too palatable. Yeah. Like, like if I keep a box of little Debbies, that some bee is gone by this afternoon. Well, it, right. If I like anything too much, then I ruin it, and I can't. Like I don't even buy cereal anymore because I eat too much cereal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm gonna eat them all. I'm gonna eat all the Swiss cake rolls anyway, so I might as well just eat them all today. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, yeah that's dude. why I have no Swiss cake rolls. Yeah, in yeah. Well, you know, and I and sometimes I don't buy a lot of junk for that reason. Mm -hmm. But sometimes mm -hmm. I will be like, I'm gonna buy this bag of Doritos. It's gonna be gone probably today or tomorrow exactly. at, at the late. And I'm just I accept it front end. Accept it. So that that's kind of leading me into the reason that I have chosen to go myself with the Nature's Valley granola okay, bar all right. is because it's not so delicious where I want to eat them all immediately, right? but they're good enough where I can definitely be like, yeah, I'm going to oh, eat this granola bar. Yeah, like the one I showed you today that I bought, yeah. I can't keep those in the house. That's that's something that I tried to keep in the house and then was like, oh, I eat way too many of these. So like today I was like, I will buy these and I know they're probably going to be gone in a couple days, but I'm okay with that. So you got like the uh, the Quaker chewy, chewy yeah. uh, with the peanut butter yeah. or no, with the uh, chocolate chips in it and stuff, right? Yeah, and, and I feel it's good. It's it's like it has some like, you know, not crunch. Yeah. It has like some, I don't know. It's it's, it's, held, it's chewy. It's held together with some manufactured ex adhesive. Yeah, it's like honey, whatever. But you got you particle hope boards, honey. dude. You got the particle board granola. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the nature, the nature's, uh, the, everybody knows the Nature's Valley granola bar <laughs> because they're the granola bar in the green <laughs> wrapper that as soon as you break it or bite into it, it turns into just like. It's Mount sawdust. Vesuvius let it's off an sawdust. ash cloud. It's just sawdust and just like uh, it's sand in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And dude. you're probably thinking, like, that sounds disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's really good. They're pretty good. Dude, yeah. And then, like, I f we found the chocolate ones. Yeah, those are good too, dude. It's the, all good. The man. chocolate ones are crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> and <laughs> yeah, crazy. it was like that they, they take the byproduct of my granola bar <laughs> and <laughs> smash them down to make yours. <laughs> So they're just taking, like, from the graham cracker industry, from the gr other granola bar industry, like, the actual reputable granola yeah. bars, and then they just take all their granola leavings. Yeah, they uh, they bag up in trash bags their granola dust, and they bring it over to the, the pressing factory at Nature's Valley. It's like, they make, they make them, like, really big. That's why they're always broken in the package because you can't, uh, <laughs> because they chop them with a chopper and it just breaks them into pieces and they load them up. <laughs> they they can't they can't guarantee that. I've never opened one and they're not and not been broken already. I've, I mean, I've had a couple, but they're always like missing edges and corners, or they look like they've been through the ringer. Yeah, dude, like somebody like someone delivered a package of yours from FedEx, like they have on the internet. Where they just right. throw it over the fence, <laughs> right? That's what it looks like. And this is not this is not a call out to Nature's Valley. I'm telling you right now, I buy the big 48 box of of those Nature Valley granola bars, and I don't care what anybody has to say. I think they're pretty good granola bars. They are. They have the structural integrity of like an elderly person. <laughs> wow. They are. They're elderly person granola bars. They really too, are, right? dude. They really are. Like I've seen them in nursing homes and hospitals. That, in fact, that's usually where you see them is like nursing homes, hospitals, or like uh, psych psych wards. Top three places to see a Nature's Valley granola bar. 
do they uh, feed them in through the oxygen? Because they <laughs> because it's basically a gas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just they they all huff in Nature's Valley up in the nursing home in their oxygen masks. The periodic stuff. the periodic table has <laughs> Nature's, Nature's Valley Envy down at the bottom. Yeah! <laughs> it's a noble gas. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like that. Grandma like that. needs some more Nature's Valley. <laughs> just huff it up, dude. Doctor says we gotta up her Nature's Valley. Yeah. Yeah. She's not doing so well. Yeah. Me, Mima. <laughs> Mima Nature's Valley doesn't. She's just not able to, to, to do it. I like that. That dude. would be pretty good, dude. Think about it, Jonas. We could like uh, invite some friends over and we could all get together and do a couple lines in Nature's Valley. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dude. Yeah. That's like, I mean, they have a uh, vapor alcohol shots at the bar. The vapor alcohol yeah. shots. Yeah. <laughs> Just inhale the yeah, granola. You did, we took you to do one when you came down to visit. I do, I do remember that. Yeah, that dude. Cool. It actually cool. gives you a little bit of buzz, and I think it's all placebo. But, you know. That part. But we always that did part. it first. That was the point. We are like, we're going to go downtown. We're going to do the alcohol vapor shot first when we're all sober. Yeah. Then you know how much it really affects you as you walk into the next bar. You're like, do I feel anything from this? Because if you're, if, you, if you're six drinks deep and go do an, a vapor shot, what the hell is it going to do to you? Nothing. nothing right absolutely so nothing. if you're sober at least you can gauge what effect it had on you it you felt good man you felt I was, a little warm like i it wasn't enough where i was like i need to do this like no like nobody's gonna sit up there and just start like <laughs> another vapor shot right, right. round of vapor shots for me and the boys and just hang out the entire night <laughs> they're watching the basketball game they're all just huffing huffing cherry right? vodka or whatever the hell it was it seems kind of i don't know man seems, seems austin <laughs> it seems Austin. It also seems dangerous to be like inhaling alcohol. Like I'm sure that they've already, you know, clinically, but it still seems they're a little safe off. As vapes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't even know how safe. Oh yeah, are. they're not safe at all, dude. From when I, I get wet long or something, isn't that a thing? <laughs> I don't know what it is with the human the human nature and wanting to like just inhale stuff through your lungs all the goddamn time. Like, uh, what's wrong with you, motherfuckers? Because we like to get high, <laughs> and it's the best. <laughs> It's a good way to do it. Well, it's, Jonas, it's, there you go. <laughs> that isn't a needle in the vein. That's like you can inhale it through your capillaries in your lungs, or you can shoot it straight into your bloodstream, and one <laughs> seems way less junky-like than yeah. the other. How can I get as much of whatever <laughs> drug this is, legal or not, into my system as fast as I possibly that can? That is the human condition. Put right it directly there. into my bloodstream or let me breathe it. Yeah, exactly. That's it, dude. I want to respirate I mean, and, all and the then drugs. I guess you have like... Like acid and mushrooms that you like which you like put on your tongue or, or eat and digest yeah, but well, that's but i mean yeah, like i guess that's the other way to do it yeah you can digest it because I, mean, I guess people even eat weed and now that people have like regulated that industry not regulated it's not the right word but put a figured it out you know like you're eating cookies and brownies and oh, yeah, checks yeah. mix and all sorts of random crap yeah. with weed on it so it's just like, oh, I'm just going to have weed butter on my toast i suggest oh. i suggest that you don't do drugs kids. don't ever do drugs they're bad yeah do you want to have more fun ever than you've ever had? <laughs> <laughs> then straight edge is for you. Yeah. <laughs> Try Jesus Christ. Yeah. JC in the house. Dog, I'm going to breathe Jesus in my lungs. <laughs> Where's that can of Jesus? <laughs> well, like they do with the Nature's Valley. <laughs> but yeah, dude. it. Uh, have you ever dropped a Nature's Valley? Have you ever Nature Valleyed yourself all over the floor? Like you just like you open one up and it's just like fuck. <laughs> about nature's value. yeah. Um, that that's the main problem. Is that there's a very a very uh, age old timeless technique for unwrapping a nature's oh value yeah. Bar you gonna describe that. it? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want to keep it to yourself? <laughs> kind of like just have to like cup it in its wrapper. Yeah, dude. I am. Um, what like, I do is I open bowl. up. I open up the whole wrapper in half. So like I, I peel it down the center and open it up, right? Like, like and then I nail. slowly pull the piece, like grab the pieces with like two fingers, like a claw, like your thumb. And you, you have to be gentle. Yeah, and you lift, and you get. You're like, ooh, this is a piece. I can put the whole piece in my mouth. And you put it in. Oh, you, you got to be quick too. Yeah, because yeah, you're start, losing. You're losing whole. Right. There's comet envy coming off of it, dude. Exactly. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're definitely losing some pieces. Yeah, you're you're giving someone a vapor envy while you're trying to put it into your yeah, mouth because yeah, it's yeah, such yeah. a noble gas. It just. It does it, and uh, yeah, and then uh, and then you just like funnel the crumbs down your throat like a Doritos bag. That that is definitely the end step. Yes. Have you ever just crushed it all up and just ate it like and just sh opened no. it and just ate it like? Is that how you're supposed to eat them? 
Maybe no, I don't feel like the bag, the bag, the wrapper could handle that. But if you just like rip the top, the edge off the bag, like crumble them up, just rip a hole off the top, and then just like kind of use the bag to sho shovel yeah. it in your mouth. Yo, that reminds me of the guy I knew that used to do that with ramen noodles, and then he would like he would like raw ramen noodles in the bag, the meerschaum. He would crush them up in the bag, and then he pours a seasoning over that, and then eat them like chips. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. But in that that essential style, but you should try that with one, and just like. Rip the corner off and just feed yourself granola, and then we'd like we just reinvented the mother effing wheel. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to give it a shot. Now right. let somebody, I'll let somebody know on a future well, episode. Yeah, we'll we'll have a recap. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com uh, for Jonas TNT. Uh, we out.